And uh, I've got some guests here. We were listening to that one together. Balin is back here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, welcome back to Nashville. How are y'all doing? Doing good. Fabulous. Thanks for having us back. Uh, all right. Hey, uh, uh, it's a beautiful day out there. Yeah. We got we got Balin here in the volume.com studio. They're headlining third in Lindsley tonight. Uh, Elizabeth Moen's going to be opening the show, She's and uh, we're going to give away a pair of tickets. But uh, we we got the whole trio squeezed into our our tiny studio here at, at Lightning One Hundred. You can actually see what it looks like if you want to. Volume dot com slash Lightning One Hundred. Pull it up and take a look here in our studio. Uh, so uh, it's been uh, it's been a few years since uh, we got that first record from you. I'm excited to hear about this new one and hear yeah. some songs. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know the, the first record was thrilled to be here, and I'm thrilled that you are here uh, <laughs> today. And, uh, and we get to chat about uh, their sophomore record, which is coming out uh, so sooner than later, about mm -hmm. less than two months away now we're going to get that one. Um, what, uh, what, let's, let's start with a song for everybody out there listening on, on the radio. What, uh, what would be a good one to start with today? We're going to play a song called Tired Hearts, which is the title track of the record. And it comes out like very, very soon. So you got a sneak little peek of it. All right. This is great. This is Balin live on Lightning 100 and volume.com slash Lightning 100. She had a baby son She said I can feel the world And he ain't my only one But every dawn I leave late nights I find it Go free a stranger is my child My child to me Work them up and beat them down all in the name of love Can you hear that whistle sound? Maybe life has just begun Come and sit in at the edge of the heavy waters Pardon me something I can live on a little longer If I Life goes on like it's 
it's always been Life from the mother's death The young child shaped from the warm bed Wait as the world sits in And life goes on like it's always been 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 Life goes on like it's always Lightning 100. That was awesome. Balin live here in the volume.com studio. We're streaming live on volume.com slash lightning 100. It's tonight. Balin is back in Nashville. They're headlining out at third and Lindsley. Elizabeth Moan going to be opening for Balin doors at six. Show starts at eight. All ages event. Tickets and info at third and Lindsley.com and Balin the And we're going to get to give away a pair of tickets before they leave today, so if you're looking for something fun to do tonight out at 3rd and Lindsley, we've got to your chance to win tickets. Uh, the first time that uh, we discovered this band was back in 2019, and uh, that's that's when they put out their debut record. I feel like you were... You were Pretty young in my mind. You were young. You don't. See, you children. Don't, you don't seem so so young now. We're very old. We're now. super. We're fully geriatric. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and you have you have a magic ingredient, and it's it's those uh, brotherly and sisterly harmonies. Yeah. Uh, that that you can only have when you're actually related to each other. Uh, and and uh, Daniel and David, you, you're both fraternal twins. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm glad and, I don't look like him. I'm glad I don't look like him. <laughs> are you guys right back? At you, okay. Brother. So what what ways are you alike, and what ways are you opposite? My guess my guess is that some ways you're you're like totally twinning, and other ways you're 100 percent different. What do you? We're think? actually 100 percent different. I think. Yeah. Oh really? The only thing yeah. they have no in twinning. common in my book, the only thing they have in common is that they're both really annoying. <laughs> Uh, and I feel like I feel like Daniel has everything that I don't have, social skills, things like that, and then, <laughs> and, then and then I have everything that Daniel doesn't have, like you know, competence. Oh, I can never David. find anything. <laughs> David's a finder. Daniel's a, a, a loser of sorts, but. <laughs> No, I'm joking. That was mean. Wow, oh, I didn't. Know really mean to each other. No, yeah, no one wow. can be meaner than brothers We really, brothers lo- we and do sisters. love each other. In fact, yeah, I spend like too much time loser around in each other. Ter- in the sense that he loses things, not that he is a loser. Yeah. I okay. lose, lose my keys. Okay, Daniel yeah, like loses his keys, keys. I keep track of keys. That's yeah. the difference, really. And, and are there any other siblings that aren't in the band? No, no. it's just the three of us. This is, this yeah. is it. This That'd be weird, it. though. Right? Well, yeah. I mean, you know. If, like, if like Chuck, our <laughs> weird... Our, like, basement sibling. <laughs> it's it's totally possible. I, yeah. I, I was just thinking to myself, I've, I've got four kids, so, yeah. you know, maybe only three of them wanted to be in the band. Well, four kids is better because then you can have a pianist and, mm. or, you know, right. yeah. guitar players, you know. You know, well, you, you've got a... A, a drum pad so yeah, yeah. our fourth yeah. sibling is the, my role in SPD yeah <laughs> and they hopefully behave really really well uh Balin hanging out with us here in the volume.com studio they're headlining third and Lindsley tonight uh it was the summer of 2019 I looked it up August 31st it feels like wow. a million years ago yeah mm-hmm. that we had you out at live on the green yeah it was uh it was the night that uh, Grace Potter headlined yeah, yeah. and uh, Devin Gilfillian was a last minute fill-in because the I guitar player for Todd Snyder had passed away oh, uh Neil Casal had died on oh, that man. Sunday before the Thursday That's and so sad. I know it was, wow. it was really Jeez. really tragic um actually there's a since then there's been a non-profit it's set up in his name for people struggling with uh, uh, suicide. So, oh, yeah, the Neil Casal Foundation. Not not to not to drag it down, but it's always good to talk no, about those important. things. Yeah, because over the years, I think it's become easier to talk about some of those things. Yeah. And Absolutely. over the past few years, uh, we've really seen people, you know, struggling, and and we want them to mm-hmm. uh, to reach out and get help if. If they need it, and um, definitely a very, very important thing. Uh, we've got Balin here in the studio. Sorry, that's so hard to talk about some of that, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But uh, he's he was a, a very beloved guy. And uh, Neil Casal Foundation. If you'd like to find out more about that, it's over at Third and Lindsley tonight. We have Balin. So uh, it's it's been four years since we got that first record. My guess is is that, or I was I was listening to this and I was thinking, 
would we would we maybe have gotten this record a little bit sooner if the past few years hadn't been like they were? Do you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, <laughs> we had it was. Yeah, you probably would have gotten it t- like two years, two years yeah. sooner <laughs> if the pandemic hadn't happened. <laughs> Got it. But we're back up and running, and we'd like to just like delete those two years and yeah. just think of it like we just got you know got off the road got off the road <laughs> <laughs> i think some of it i feel like i in some ways i have deleted those years because i'll be like oh yeah that was a year ago and then you look it up and it's like oh no that was two years yeah, ago seriously so just a little bit off off the mark well uh i imagine you're excited to get uh this this record out there you can go ahead and pre-order it uh i think we're gonna get three different so are they all from the new record is that where you're gonna play today? uh yeah i think so right yeah. cool uh, what's what's the next one you want to play? I think we'll, ju- we'll play the single we just released called Call It Like It Is. Awesome. Let's do it. This is Balin live in the volume.com studio on Lightning 100 and volume.com slash Lightning 100 tonight at 3rd and Lindsley. bottom line if all i ever am is copy what is left of mine well i'm falling with you because the world is what you made it yeah i'm falling it's true and i'm tired of trying to fake it so call it like it is you got some bodies in the basin Lightning 100, Balin live here in the volume.com studio. It's tonight. They're in town headlining third and Lindsley. We're going to give you a chance to win some tickets uh, before they leave. Uh, that is Call It Like It Is, which uh, just came out on Valentine's Day a few weeks ago. Uh, and uh, 
I guess, yeah, that's the first new music that you've given us in yeah. four years. We like to keep it to we're ourselves. Really sorry. <laughs> we showed it to we're, our mom. We're oh. Super private. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, so I, I watched. I watched the music video for that, and yeah. I think that. Uh, uh, Dave, did you actually direct it, David? Yeah, I direct our music videos. So. Uh, you also edited it. I edited it and I directed it. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, so, well, it's it's and we produced it too. <laughs> We're very proud. Of it. We did it all ourselves. Like, it was from it's top to bottom. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, I feel like sometimes people just kind of don't really have much going on in a music video. And it felt like a little mini movie. Yeah, it was sort of like a little, a little, uh, little uh, thriller based on an experience we had uh, being. Yeah, we uh, usually stay with fans on the road, and we had a particularly horrible experience where we realized we were staying in someone's dungeon, and decided to make a uh, music video based on yeah. that premise. <laughs> really? We'll leave, yeah. we'll leave it up to the viewer to yeah. determine if Daniel makes it out alive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> leave it to my brother to write me out of this. Okay. Yeah, I, I to write yeah. season. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I get it. So yeah, <laughs> he was producing, so he didn't he didn't draw straws on who got left behind. Yeah, he didn't, didn't quite get saved. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were thinking about having it be Julia, and then we we rewrote it when Daniel pissed me off. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Julia. She was like long oh, gone. Was gone. Yeah, she was yeah, out of the world. She bolted. Like, she yeah. is. <laughs> You're I'm, on I'm your own. There, Someone's got to carry on the up. family name. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. It was a really fun. Uh, Thing to make, and uh, yeah. we got all our friends involved, and it was really cool. I I, I enjoyed it. It was if you know if you're gonna make a music video, go go all go the big. way. Yeah, uh, make a movie, right? Uh, we got Balin here hanging out with us in the Volume.com studio. So, and I saw that that song uh, was a co-write with Adam and Sam from X Ambassadors. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that the first time uh, you've done anything like that? Did you do that on the first record, co-writing, or we did mm, one on more. the first record? Yeah. But we did a lot during the pandemic. We because it was like, well, what are we gonna do? Let's do some Zoom sessions. So yeah. we did like a ton of Zoom sessions with people, and that was one of them. And it just turned out really good. And th those guys are awesome. Yeah, and, yeah we've known Sam and Adam for like what since 2016 okay so yeah, yeah. So, old, old friends at this point uh, yeah. th that's kind of the upside i mean there's you know pros and cons over the past few years uh, you know a yeah. few things got hit fast forward on like people being comfortable doing video chats and right. certainly writing mm -hmm. songs uh in in that type of of setting where i i don't think that that would have happened like that and that just opens the door it means like if you're sync your your schedule sync up you could be riding with someone in australia or yeah. some other part of the world yeah, yeah. exactly it was yeah, really we did a, a fun bunch of silver lining kind of uh, yeah. part of the pandemic for us uh, so did you write with anyone else or did they write on any more songs than that one we we wrote, like uh, we, wrote we were gonna write a song with them called uh Self, uh, self, self medication. medication. <laughs> that didn't make the record. Yeah. Uh, we we wrote with, like a ton of people though. Like we did like like forty co writes. Wow. And not all of them made like only a couple of them made the record, but yeah. I think we wrote a hundred twenty songs during the pandemic that we have like legit we were, demos for. We were like choosing from like maybe sixty songs for this. So record. it won't be four years till the next record. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Unless there's another unless there's pan, a, uh, knock on wood. Don't say. I I <laughs> Dan Auerbach lives here in Nashville and. Oh, cool. uh, he had a solo record coming out and got with these national songwriters and started writing songs for like a year and they ended up with like 200 songs yeah. and so he only you know put a few of those on that record but then he's worked with other people and used those songs for records with them like robert finley cool. uh in in the robert finley story the first record they made together because he's legally blind hmm. and so he couldn't read the lyrics so dan like the the songs were so new that in his ear he'd hear the verse the words and then say sing the words oh nice and, wow. and that, yeah like that's kind of crazy and that's what I, I, wish I, I wish i had that like just live shows yeah. uh, right yeah I remember, remember my own lyrics <laughs> oh there you go uh we got balen here in the volume.com studio so you also worked with uh brad cook on this yeah. new record mm -hmm. which uh was different than the first record and what how was it different was it a different experience did it feel different yeah it was a definitely a different approach because like for the first record we did the first record with john congleton who we all adore very deeply um and we like had the chance to kind of tour those songs before we went into the studio so we like had all these arrangements ready to go and we tracked a lot of that live in studio um like all the you know bass drum and guitar parts were tracked live and then for this record because like we weren't together during the pandemic 
Um, we like <laughs> pandemos. <Okay. laughs> yes. Like we made a lot of pandemos uh, okay. on our own, and uh, kind of had to like come together when we started recording to like really work out some arrangements. And and so a lot of it was was built piecemeal and like in the in the Pro Tools session, you know. Yeah. Um, so it was, and it I think opened us up in a lot of different ways and and made it sound like new and interesting and I'm, I'm excited about it Me too. working with brad was awesome so we got balen here they're headlining third and lindsley tonight uh i'm i i think i heard daniel did i hear you say that elizabeth moen's one of your favorite songwriters yes indeed oh, she's wonderful she's Such she's opening artist. the show tonight at eight o'clock it's a hard act to follow <laughs> all right well hey no it's it's good to have it's good to have two great acts and i feel like you should if you're going to a show catch that opener if you can yeah, because yes. you know at one point you guys were the opener and now now oh, you're yeah. the headliner you just never know it could be your next favorite band yeah, yeah exactly um okay so do we get we get another song before we let you out of here and yeah, give away sure. some tickets to the show tonight definitely what do you want to play we're gonna do a song called shadows that's on the record um, and, um sort of it's about uh Seeing, uh, seeing the person you're with for the first time in the light of I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you. So that kind of, that moment when you realize. This is Balin live on Lightning 100 and volume.com slash Lightning 100. Sweats in the summer heat Bought a blow-up pool To get away for a week Set it up in your mama's backyard Tiles rolled out on the concrete beach You were floating out there In the shape of a star Waves tipping over the side And I found some place In the shade by the car Where I could see the sun hit your eyes I see our whole life here in the shadows, right there at your side, and I'll be singing along with every word you write. Here in the shadows, while you're in the light, you get me through the day, I'll get you through the night. Seats peek through the fog in the street We got a small apartment while the rent was cheap Slept on the floor that first night in Waking up aching with lines on a cheek And you're there looking up at an empty wall Say we're as young as we'll ever be But don't it feel old? And sometimes it feels like there's nothing to show And you're out there all on your own I'm here in the shadows, right there at your side And I'll be singing along with every word you write Here in the shadows, while you're in the light You get me through the day, I'll get you through the night you get me through the day, I'll get you through the night. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll take the cold side, you sleep and I'll the night turn blue, fade 
Lightning 100, Balin, live in the volume.com studios tonight. They're going to be headlining 3rd and Lindsley. Uh, they got tickets and info at 3rd and Lindsley.com, Balin, the band.com. You can pre order their sophomore LP, Tired Hearts, is going to be dropping on the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, Daniel, David, Julie, appreciate y'all coming in Thanks and having us. squeezing Thanks the gear yeah. into our tiny studio. We got vibe in here. Once you do it, it's pretty fun. Oh, yeah, it's, so it's fun. great. I love it. We're from New York, so it's like this is like our apartment, you know? Yeah. <laughs> got this it. This is how we do it. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, then uh, the traffic probably won't seem bad either. Nope. Out <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, no, this is heaven. I don't know why we so live in New York. Nice here. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, you, you should you should stay. Oh, uh, no. Uh, Balin's at 3rd and Lindsley tonight. And this is kind of the front start of your tour. You've got a bunch of tour dates this spring. Um, I think you started things last Thursday in Virginia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it is it going going well so far? Yeah. Does it feel good great. to be on the road? Yeah, it feels so fresh. Fun. feels great. Yeah. yeah. Have, new, have new music. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely like it feels good after all this time. Yeah. And all the people that discovered us during the pandemic sure. we're meeting for the first time so that's really special uh and i think you're doing south by southwest we are yeah. indeed have you done that before have you yes, been we have. Have. so so for someone you know here in nashville a lot of us have been some of us haven't what's what's it uh, what's the experience like it's very tiring it's exhausting <laughs> it's a circus it's like you do you play like four times a day and you're there for like two days and like two and a half days and and it's jam-packed and i think we're there for um, three and a half days or who knows i don't know <laughs> i haven't gotten that far yet yeah yeah but it's, it's yeah, all it's, blur usually it's a whole blur it's just chaos I'm, I'm i'm sure it is well uh, uh you know what i thought i would do Beautiful chaos is that uh because i got tickets to give and i thought uh i'd go ahead and play the studio version of call it like it is Cool. Uh, on the radio, so you can oh, hear it yeah. here on the radio in Nashville, Tennessee. Nice. Uh, awesome. Which probably has a little bit of a better mix than I did. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you did a good job. Just, just, just a little bit. <laughs> yes. uh, so, uh, but but thanks thanks to coming in today. And if you'd like to see Balin tonight out at 3rd and Lindsley, Elizabeth Moen is going to be opening for Balin. Uh, you can get tickets at 3rd and Lindsley.com, BalinTheBand.com, or you can try and be the third caller through, and I'll get you in tonight. It's 615 777 5100 is the number to dial if you want to see Balin tonight out at 3rd and Lindsley. And uh, while you're dialing, I am going to play a track. This is going to be on the new record, Tired Hearts, is coming out May 5th. Call it like it is, 615-777-5100. Caller 3, you're winning.